Hello there, Gary here. So I've been using the Galaxy Buds 2 for the last three months, having previously used the Galaxy Buds Pro. Have I regretted making the swap? Absolutely not. Firstly, to say this is not a comparison video with the Buds Pro and the Buds 2, but it's hard not to refer to those as they both came out last year and they both offer similar features. Buds 2 are cheaper, but offer a number of features that are very similar to the Buds Pro. And just from looking at the case, you can see how similar they are. The Buds 2 come in with additional colors, which is nice. And the case is glossy compared to the matte finish of the Pros. In terms of the design, the Buds 2 are slimmer and lighter compared to the Pros. And this brings added comfort for me. The Buds 2 are super light, slimmer, and they do just fit in my ear better particularly when I'm working out. When you get the Buds 2 out of the box, pairing is simple with a Samsung phone. Just open the lid and the Buds are detected and pairing takes seconds. What I also like here is that if you use the Galaxy wearable app, you can use the Buds 2 with any Android phone and you get all the features via the app. And speaking of the wearable app, I think it's really good that you can customize many of the settings for the headphones straight in the app and yeah, it gives you a lot of customization. So in terms of features, the Buds 2 offer really good active noise cancellation. Not as good as the Pro version, but still very good. And they cancel out the majority of noise, particularly, as I say, when I'm out running or on public transport. Now, Samsung has been pushing the idea of an ecosystem to rival Apple, and they've made real progress over the last 18 months. One software feature for the Buds, which demonstrates this, is the automatic switching between various Samsung devices. And to be fair, I've always found this a bit clunky with Apple's AirPods switching between devices and Samsung's Galaxy Buds now actually do this pretty well. I often do this switching between audio from my watch when I go for a run, back to my phone, and then using my tablet. And barring the occasional hiccup, it's actually worked pretty well. Now onto what's really important for any pair of headphones and that's sound. Now quick disclaimer, I'm no audiophile, but I have to say that I found the sound to be really good and I've actually been pleasantly surprised at how good they are, especially compared to the Pros. Now don't get me wrong, the Pros have a lot more punchier bass and do get louder, but if that doesn't really matter to you and all you use them for is to listen to just music while you're on the go or a podcast, then the sound's really good. I've been really impressed. Buds 2 come with Bluetooth 5.2 and include a woofer and tweeter in each bud. I've had no complaints when using the Buds 2 for calls. They have three mics, which result in good results, uh, clear sound and block out a lot of the noise from the outside. Battery life is good. Five hours, which is on par with the Buds Pro. Turning off active noise cancellation will increase that to seven and a half hours. Case will give you three full charges of the Buds and five minutes of charge will give you one extra hour of listening. Charging the Buds is easy, either using USB-C or Qi wireless charging. So my thoughts after using the Galaxy Buds 2 for three months is basically that they offer the right amount of everything for the amount of money you're paying. They've got good sound, very good active noise cancellation, they're really comfortable, very good battery life, and are at a great price. So if you're in the Samsung ecosystem, they're a bit of a no-brainer. I'd recommend these over the Buds Pro mainly for two reasons, comfort and the price. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you been using the Buds 2 or, or the Buds Pro or what are your headphones of choice at the moment? Let me know and tell me why. Thanks for watching. A like for the video would be great. A sub to the channel would be superb. A link to all the things that have been featured in the video are in the description below. And until next time, cheers.